Hello and welcome to the Middle Age Man Talk Podcast. I'm your host, Brendan. And I'm your other host, Richard. And we're talking about tools tonight. Well, I was just reading something that, you know, it was just a little meme thing that kind of uh, got me thinking a bit. Memes. It was the, you know, it was like, it was a riff off of Harry Potter. You know how Harry Potter, they sort into the four houses? Yeah, sure. Well, every guy kind of does the same thing. Oh, with tools. tools. Yeah. So, like, DeWalt is, like, what, like, the Gryffindor? Well, is, is you got DeWalt, you've got... Who's the evil one? I don't know. It's, um, like, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, it, a, I'm a Milwaukee guy. What's the other one? Oh, Makita. Is Makita? I Makita yeah. used to be great and then kind of fell off a cliff. Makita is really good for their wired tools. Um, their wireless tools are not as, as good as from what I understand. I, I don't, and I, then there's Ryobi for the guys who don't care. Ryobi to me is it feels like it's kind of like a black and maybe it's a step above black and decker stuff because everyone says black and decker is just dewalt but it's not um side by actually, side they're not the same black and decker is just dewalt strictly speaking you would uh, that'd be like it'd be more correct to say that dewalt is just black and decker because black and decker makes the dewalt tools yeah but, that, but i actually worked in a black side and by De- side they're not the same no they aren't i worked in a black and decker shop um we actually made weed eaters Weed eaters, which is a it was a uh, weed whacker. Um, oh, not college students. Okay, no, no, it, it was. They, but they was the, the, the weed. Boy. The, the original brand for the weed whacker was the the weed eater. You just skip over the cannabis joke completely. About, yes, because they're always because it's legal in Canada now. Yeah, it has it, been for a while now. Isn't it funny how like we make things legal in Canada across the country and kind of go, okay, I guess that was kind of done sensibly, and then America, it's like depends what state you're in. Yeah, and it's th- and it's still federally a crime, so you can still get arrested in a legal state. But you still legally have to pay taxes on the money you make legally selling weed in the state you're well, in. Well, actually, taxes are you weird. have to do it in cash because you can't have a bank account because technically what you're doing is federally illegal. So like, there's all kinds of funny like like basically there was this guy talking, I was watching about it, talking about how all the cash only businesses are majorly benefiting like Mexican cartels who are making huge money in the states because the business has to be done by cash. Yeah, so the, here's an interesting factoid about, at least in the way it works in Canada, is that if you make money illegally, yeah. you still are supposed to claim the taxes on it. In Canada? Yep. In so if I, so I make money illegally, I still made money, so I have to live, because any money you make, depending on how you made the money, because like dividends are taxed less yep. than like jobs and salaries, you're supposed to pay tax on it legally. So my sister, when she was um, just out of university, she was working at H&R Block. Actually, no, it was, a, it was a, when she was still in university. So she was committing illegal crimes at H&R no. Block and didn't no, pay no. taxes? No, no, she was, she was doing taxes, people's taxes at H&R Block okay. um, in Ottawa, and she had one guy, you know, um, where, where he, when he's filing his taxes, when it put, you know, um, source of income, he put proceeds of crime. As a joke? No, serious. He was a drug dealer. But doesn't that, doesn't that tip off the government that you might be doing something criminal? The, the CRA is, by law, not allowed to inform. So the CRA, if you say proceeds of crime... They, uh, at least in the back in the 90s, they were not allowed. I feel, I feel like you could have just simply said self-employed. <laughs> Drug dealers are, generally speaking, self-employed. Yeah. But no, that was, it was a big, it was a, a um, thing, right? It's basically, it's the... Uh, so if you pay the tax on the money, then they can, like, Al Capone ya. Yeah, exactly. Well, and that's actually, that, I was going to say, that's how they got Al Capone, too, is that it's like, okay, well, he's... Should we explain what Al Capone is to all the people? I think the listeners know Al Capone was a uh, during Prohibition in the 1920s. He was a rum runner. He was a gangster. He was a gangster, but basically, when booze was illegal for like what ten years in the U.S. during Prohibition in the 20s, uh, a lot of booze from Canada and other places was smuggled in the United States, and a lot of people made a lot of money. And Al Capone made a ton of money doing this, but they couldn't actually connect him to the crime at all. But then they were like, "Wait a minute, you have all this money, so you haven't paid taxes on it." So they got him on tax evasion. Tax evasion, which is really funny. They sent him to Alcatraz where he died. Um, of, Allegedly. From syphilis, I think it was. A lot of people used to die from syphilis. Yeah. Isn't that just a penicillin shot now? Yeah. Boop. Is that a good needle one? Boop. Actually, no, it goes in the butt, doesn't it? I've never I've never heard a needle sound like a tra- trombone. Boop. Well, I mean, this is like, like improv. <laughs> Boop. Uh, That'd be a big needle. <laughs> a big needle. He's got lots of syphilis. He has so much. 
Um, um, anyway, so yeah, the... Uh, what is this episode about? Well, we started off about tools. And, and then we started talking about Al Capone and syphilis. Hashtag so oh, random. Ryobi. Ryobi gives you syphilis, syphilis apparently. Ryobi does? Well, that's what we're, that was the last tool we talked about. I don't think it does. <laughs> that sounds that just sounds wrong. Um, yeah, it, so yeah, Ryobi was the Home Depot in house brand. Yes, actually, I've used Ryobi's. They're 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 pretty good. They're I mean, like for for the price point, yeah, you get what you pay for. Yeah, um, I still would prefer a Dewalt, but then of course also like a Milwaukee. I, Milwaukee's like still above Dewalt. Do you think um, generally? So. I don't know. Because so for Bosch, like my, my buddy who works with like stonework and stuff, he likes Bosch drills because he can just drill stone all day. Yeah. And they don't blow up where he's used everything else and they blow up. So the Milwaukee, Milwaukee's got some great battery technology. Okay. He's using corded stuff because you're drilling yeah. stone. You want a corded tool. Yeah. No, I like, I like Milwaukee for corded tools. Mm. Um I got a Milwaukee, not Milwaukee. I mean uh, Makita. I've got a Makita skill saw. I've got a Makita Makita hammer drill. Oh yeah, uh, the different Harry Potter houses. Yeah, you kind of got all the different stuff in here, though. Well, I've, I've, I'm mostly Makita. Mastercraft drill over there. No, that's that's a power fist. Is that a power fist? No, that's a Mastercraft. Sorry, it's sorry. Mastercraft. That's a Mastercraft. I had a power fist, but it died by the Mastercraft. Power fist. Power fist is like the kind of Harbor Freight of. Harbor Freight of Canada. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's well, it's actually, Princess Auto, cheapy cheap. You you flip it around, and um, Prince Harbor Freight is the Princess Auto of the, of the U.S. Yeah, sure. Because um, Princess Auto came first, right? But it, it's basically like you're, you're cheap. They buy up all the extra surplusy wholesale, and then they flog it. But they also have. Um, like all of their power fist stuff which i think is actually the same just painted blue instead of yellow is the harbor freight stuff but right um it's are they G connected at all the two companies no but no. they they, I, I'm, they buy from the same sources i'm pretty sure they get their same stuff from the same right, factory right, right. in factories in china probably but power fist has a better re i mean not power fist princess auto has a better return policy yeah princess auto you can bring anything back at any time for any i reason. got an engine for to put my tractor yeah um, and after six months, because I bought it for winter for plowing, that sort of stuff. Yeah. In the spring, I took it for a spin around, and I it threw the piston right through the side of the block. Ooh. So big hole, gaping hole in the block. I may have zip tied the governor so that it would rev higher. So it's your fault. It's possibly. But you, so you brought it back, and you. I brought it back, and I'm like, yeah, it, and they didn't even ask what happened. It was like, okie doke. He's like, they're like, well, we don't have that model in stock because it's a winterized model. Um, but we'll give you store credit, you know, towards another engine. I had a store credit thing with them, too. I can't remember what it was. Canadian Tire's not bad, that either. Tools, I bought, I loved it. It was many years ago when, like, the electric-powered as as lawnmowers. As long as you have the receipt. I did. So here's the thing. electric power lawnmowers, right? Um, remember when they first came out and came with a big, yeah. huge, heavy? It wasn't like now you power everything with your DeWalt battery, your yeah. tool battery. So it was a big, huge battery thing. And I'm like, okay, fine. And it had a fancy charger thing. So, like, I took care of the battery, and I brought it in the house and put it in the closet and left it on the charger to manage the charge. I think it was that big, heavy NICAD or something. This was like years ago. Anyway, I love this Milan more because it was quiet. I don't need smelly gasoline and I have a small yard in suburbia. Yeah. Um, perfect. Anyway, the next year, the battery was totally like blowing up. It was terrible. So I brought it back. It was just, it was just under 12 months when I tried to like mow the lawn, you know, from when I, because I bought yeah. it, use it and then they're like, oh, we don't have it. I'm like, well, can I get like a new battery? And they're like, blah, blah, blah. we can just give you a full refund, sir. Okay, so I got a free rental of a lawnmower for a season from Canadian Tire, which is pretty good of them, but it was just kind of like, I actually like this tool. Yeah. The mower works, the battery's shit, but could I just get a better battery system? And it was, it's too, like, at the time, you couldn't really, like, it'd be too weird faffing about trying to get, I think it was a 36 volt or NICAD-y, yeah. I don't know what it was, but it was, like, you're not going to be able to get anything else that's going to work quite right, so I was like, eh. But, but like, I'm sure that just went to garbage. Which is kind of crappy. Like, there's electric motor in there, and the blades, and everything work nice. And it probably could have lasted for ten or twenty years. Well, see nowadays, with battery replacements. Nowadays, you could build your own battery pack, or you can buy different battery packs and that sort of stuff. And 
Oh, I, I could probably even get a thing today where I'd pop in like two DeWalt's yeah. and plug in like, even if I had to wire it myself and make it go. But yeah, no, I, I do like oh. the electric lawnmower. Yeah, the, that's one of the nice things about the, the uh, cause you got these nice big beefy batteries. So I got myself uh, a... Oh, the big, the big fancy DeWalt batteries? Well, it's not DeWalt, it's a, this is a, uh, um... Some of the big DeWalt ones are expensive, but they're like well, tons all, of power. All of the DeWalt ones are expensive. That's actually one of the advantages of the uh, well, used, Milwaukee. But it used to be with DeWalt, you could like wait till Father's Day or Black Friday. Yeah, here, you grab. Go grab a thing. You got a lot of stuff in here. Arc welder, other things. Mastercraft, paint tire, DeWalt's. So What's, what do you got here? Okay, so this is your. So these are the batteries I have. Um, these are quite the batteries. Ooh. So that one is my newest battery. Um, so this battery here, these two, they're, they're the same physical form factor, pretty much. Yep. Um, the battery technician is. Uh, they're both a high high output. XC6 and XC8. Yeah. So what's eight? More eight amps. As well as a six amps. Yes. And this is, um, I think this is a. That's a little one. one yeah, it's a little one. Two amps. 1.5. 1.5. So here's the thing though. I, I have all the 18 volt NICAD DeWalt tools I bought yeah. 15 years ago, let's say. And they're all still great. All the tools were, I mean, I burned out one drill at one point, but um, not the hammer drill, but the regular drill. But in any case, most of them, like they're all works. So I don't use that much, they'll last forever. But you can buy the adapter thing with the new DeWalt batteries, but I'm kind of like, I don't know, do I? Because the batteries are so expensive, I'm like, I could just buy other tools. Yeah, Potentially. so this is the biggest battery that they sell. Well, it's an eight amp, like. Eight amp, so um, 100, 144 amp hours. What's that button do? That's, that tells you how what the life is. Full. Yeah. Does it trap on its own? So. Yeah. My wife um, is, is driving a lot for my her wife. job. My um, wife. She's driving a lot for her job. My Borat? Uh, my wife. And so she has this little 50-watt um, uh, crock pot that she, that she used last year to heat her lunch up. I'm like... Oh, the USB crock pots? No, it's not USB. Okay. Um, it's a 50-watt plug in the wall. So it's better than a... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, and so we did a test because she's driving a lot. So she doesn't necessarily have an outlet. So we bought an Amazon adapter that just clips onto this little inverter. Right. Um, it, can, it can provide up to 100 watts. Cool. And then we did a test with the six amp, the six amp and it's 108 amp hours, which worked out to about two and a half hours. Right. Which means that she couldn't plug it in, in in the morning and then just leave it all day. Like and leave it until lunch. This one. Which is only two hundred dollars, right? Um, is she driving around, or no? She's at school. She's at school, so it's in the parking lot. Okay. But this one, um, why can't she plug it at school? Don't they have plugs inside the school? She's not necessarily in the school when she's at the board office. There's oh, not. She, oh, yeah, so she's running around this year. Yeah, right. and so and she might not be at one school. Like she may be at one school for part of the morning. Then so she's actually at a dedicated one. office. Or yeah, something. exactly. Right. Okay, so basically, so she can so she can put this in the car. So this works all day then. It, it, um, so aren't they insulated? Once it heats up, isn't it hot then for hours? Not quite, because it's cheap. Like the, the little crock pot stuff. They're not. They're not. They, they're. They don't have the same ceramic. Um, thing and no it, crock pots aren't insulated. No, I thought little travel ones were. Not really. Okay. Um, so you need to buy her just an insulated container. Well, I, I got her this. I well, I, I got myself this. I love how you can buy insulated containers and put a hot food in them. They're still hot at lunch. And you're like, no, 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 no. Let's get a cheap crock pot that needs a battery. We'll buy it. So you could have spent like forty bucks on an insulated container. No, no. Let's spend two hundred bucks on this. And thirty and, buy, bu and thirty bucks on the adapter. On the adapter. But we already had the crock pot. That's the thing. Oh, I see. And how much was that crock pot initially? Forty bucks. Forty bucks. <laughs> you could have just bought a thermal container. <laughs> so, well, the, however, the, yeah. it means that I have this battery now. Right. So now you can like play with it. Um, which is great for the jigsaw. Yes. Um, I bet it would be. Yeah, no, I need to, I need to like to or for for it. a hammer drill or that sort of stuff. You know, that's the, the annoying thing with with the these are great for portability, mobility. So if I was up on a roof, 
Yep. With my with my driver, yeah, impact driver, I would use this because it's nice and light and that sort of stuff. Yeah, um, yeah, no, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It's, but it's portable. If I was when I was building my deck, I used this. The six, yeah, because and I still it, it would go for like ages. No, it wouldn't. No, not as long as you'd think because doing like drilling screws. Yeah, when you're doing uh, three and a half inch screws mm. over and over and over again, it would last half the day. That's still pretty good. Yeah, um, whereas this would last not even an hour. Right. Um, and the, 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 one of the great things, if you got the height, they've got their newer chargers. This would eighty percent charge in fifteen minutes. Hmm. Well, the fancy fast charging. Yeah, but you don't you don't need it because like I can just go grab. The other thing is that with a higher amperage, yeah, it means you get more torque out of the tool. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that would make sense because they're all like electric motors and whatnot. Now. You got your voltage. The brushlessy fancy. Yeah, so you got the voltage is the same. It's eighteen volts, right. but the amperage is higher, which means that there's no lag. Aren't the DeWalt ones like twenty volts or something? Yeah, it's, it, that really doesn't make a whole. It's the amperage that, that it's the it's the it's the volts and the amps that matter. You know. Yeah. Because, well, bo broadly speaking, if you think about water pipe, volts are the size of the pipe, and amperage is how much you're shoving through the pipe. Yes. In a nutshell. Yeah. There's some caveats to that. We're not electricians. So I actually find that. <sighs> My mm. impact driver. Yeah. That's not an impact, that is not an impact wrench. No, it's an impact driver, yeah. Which is so this is not, not a high torque thing. It's perfect for lug nuts with these big batteries. Oh, really? Oh, because you get more torque. Yeah. So when you're out there on the old Subaru changing the tires around. Yep. And it, and it actually, um, when I tighten it up, it's almost perfect for um, getting it to the. Um, that is a bit heavy on the balance, isn't it? Yes, it is. Because that's the one thing I liked about the old 80 volt DeWalt's. They were beautifully balanced. balanced. That sort of stuff. This feels much better. So the this could be a little bit heavier, actually. Because this, this is the one and a half, and those are like sixes and eights. Yeah. So I don't have the top end tools. I, I just have the M18 tools. I don't have the fuel. M18, oh. M18 fuel. Yeah, this one is. This is the, this. Actually, the six feels heavier than the 18. Not 18, sorry, than the uh, eight. Maybe they're the same. They're about the same weight. But they, they feel like they're certainly... The, the, the difference is the cells in them. Yeah. Um, but but definitely, like, I bet... Is there one in between? Yeah, there's a three. I bet the three is, like, perfectly balanced. Because this feels almost a little bit too light. Yeah. So... But the... With, with, with the... Yeah! With the, uh, with the drill, I prefer... Well, like, depending on what I'm doing, if I'm drilling something small... Like sheet metal or just you know, just the getting a start. battery. I like the lightweight battery because it mm -hmm. doesn't have as much torque. Um, it's not going too fast. I don't know. It's I don't break drill bits. Right. Or my wrist. I've been drilling with with the bigger batteries. I've been drilling like oh, metal and that sort of stuff, and, get, and, and it goes through it, and then it catches, and then it's like. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's like those old like startup wind up cars yeah. that like um they did it on Top Gear a million years ago. It was James May, Jeremy Clarkson, and they were mentioning how uh, that at this museum in England, these old cars, this particular car from I don't know, but when you used to crank them with the front, it had broken the arms of two of the three curators at that museum. So those are the guys who actually yeah. should know what they're doing and probably do, but they got their arms broke. That's pretty terrible. Oh, right. I always liked the old. Uh watching the old engines that were started with shotgun shells. Oh, to get them going, the boof, boof. Yeah. See, there's also old airline, airplane ones. Yeah, they're... they're that was the um, the story about the plane that, what was it, broke in the desert and they fixed the plane and they flew out of the desert? What was that one? I, Dennis Quaid did the movie version. No idea if the movie version was like anywhere close to reality, but it was a true story where these people on a plane crashed in the desert and then maybe it was the Gobi desert and yeah. then they had to like fix the plane and get out of there. But yeah, no, it's the uh, yeah using shotgun shells to. No, obviously they're just they're blanks, but because firing a slug into your engine isn't going to do any good. But but it's kind of funny though. 
that's how we'll get it started. Yeah. yeah, it is kind of a interesting now, like where technology is going. There's a neat thing. I was maybe not maybe a year ago. I don't know. I watched a video from the Stuttgart University in Germany, and they had this small little two person plane, um, and it had like a diesel backup. It was all electric. And I, I, maybe the diesel backup was actually like a generator. It wasn't even like a the yeah. powertrain. But they're like they're trying to I guess maybe explore the idea that instead of having these bigger flights. Or Europe, where it's small distances, and a lot of people in Europe are only flying several hundred kilometers. Could you actually have um, a lot of little planes? So you just kind of show up and go, oh, here's another one, you go. Like, where it's almost like if you want to go between, I don't know, uh, Munich and Paris, it's like a taxi as opposed to a, well, a, like a train or a bus or a jet. A little bit more like a ferry, you know. Well, on-demand ferries. Yeah. But anyway, but they want taxi. If you're in a city and you want to get across the city and you're going like 20 kilometers, yeah. <coughs> taxi, Uber, and yeah. you go. So the whole idea was, I think, that if they could make them cheaply and efficiently enough. And then the other thing is, could they be actually flown by AI or by a login pilot? So pilots are in a call center and they log in. Then, of course, the pilot actually isn't in the plane, which makes people feel nervous. Because the pilot's in the plane, they're like, I die if I crash. Whereas if they're not in the plane, eh, but, but it's an interesting idea that you could actually have like a self-driving Uber gonna, plane. So once the U Ukraine war gets sorted out, there's going to be a lot of very skilled What's drone clients, dr uh, drone pilots who could do, who could do the, that sort of stuff all day. It, but, but it is an interesting idea that could you actually have essentially a like um, an Uber remote drive plane where you just and then you could actually have smaller airports you wouldn't need great big huge airports you could have an airstrip where these land they charge up refuel some diesel whatever and you just hop in and go, okay go 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 of course then you have funny things where people got in the wrong one by accident you're like i don't want to go to spain sorry you accidentally got in or there's like a glitch and like oh all of the they, everything got sent to england all the planes show up in england because that's what happens with with automation. If there's a you know mistake, you've now made the mistake thousands of times. Take a look at CrowdStrike. 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 Oh yeah, we talked. We did an episode on yeah, that. We did an episode. I on that. I forget what that was. What was that? So CrowdStrike is a security company. They do. Oh um, yeah. And they pushed an update which disagreed with Microsoft's yeah, kernel, really. and it was it was it, it's. It wasn't that big of a deal. It, it cost, you know, worldwide probably a trillion dollars. Well, of like man hours. And no real, real cost because you got you had you had entire airplane airlines that couldn't fly. Oh, that's right. That's true. Yeah. So you get get an update like that for these little planes, you know. Bunk, and then they all can't fly. Yep. Or they, they all, all can't fall in the sky. They all can't land. Or something. Or they all they 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 go into like um standby mode where they're just sort of circling. Until they run out. Or right, now we have to do emergency landing. Yeah. Oh, actually, uh, speaking of technology and... Technology. And automation, tools. that sort of stuff. Yeah. The Exploding Pagers. Oh. That's like a whole episode. Should we start an episode talking about Exploding Pagers? Okay, we'll do an episode on Exploding Pagers and stuff like that. Exploding Pagers. Um, yeah, because that's a whole like other subject area. Yes, All right. it is. Let's just uh, do a break. Oh, wait, we got to end the show first. Yeah. See, I always do a clap if you're wondering what I'm doing. If you can see this on YouTube, um, I always clap. It's, it's, it's a recording thing. So, you're the, a DeWalt guy. Yeah. And I am a... I don't know what the houses are. Um, I know Slytherin was the bad one, and and Hufflepuff was sort of the oddball one. What was the other two houses? Hufflepuff was like the fat girl one, um, yeah. who's like, you know... That's, that's what I always felt like. They're like, let's bake something to eat. Yeah. And like Gryffindor Puff is... Puff is the... Gryffindor is like the, like the, um, the Chad. Who's like, yeah, I'll take care yeah. of it. And then there's like Slytherin is like the, the nerds. The evil nerds. And who was the other one? Ravenclaw. Yeah. What, what was Ravenclaw? I have no idea. They seem like a different kind of nerd. I don't think we're doing this just as a metaphor. No, no, I just try to see. I just try to figure figure out what kind of cut my whole like clap explain thing. Where like people on YouTube are going to see this. It's because it's a recording thing, so you can sync audio. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't I was trying to end, end the show on the well, you know the battery technology thing. Not, not on the, drones. Because you're 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 a Dewalt guy right now. What are the main brands of tools? Let's end that. What are the main brands? So there's Dewalt. There's what Milwaukee. 
Um, Bosch. Does Bosch count? Makita, they're kind of like lesser. Bosch and Makita are more commercial. Well, Bosch, is, Bosch is a bit higher end, too. You know, they're, 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 you've got your craftsmen, you've got your... Um, your mastercraft you have all your, your brand name ones they'll yeah. go in the same pile but, but it's basically you know you've got yeah the big ones are sort of you know your dewalt your well no your, still gonna be like all flash and no bang that's like the rich people who are like hey we're just yeah. the red so what's the all flash and no bang what's the overpriced tools they think they're all that but they're actually just okay because dewalt's like your everyman tool dewalt actually might be hufflepuff or Ravenclaw. It's kind of like sensible. It's good in the middle. Yeah. DeWalt's Ravenclaw. What's Hufflepuff? I feel like Hufflepuff is like it's Black and Obi. Or like Black and Decker. Yeah, Obi. yeah. Sort of random Hufflepuff. Ones. So what's So what's like Gryffindor? What's Milwaukee again? We haven't put, put Milwaukee in one yet. Milwaukee so. can be Gryffindor. Milwaukee's yeah. Gryffindor. Are we done with this? I guess that, that, that leaves... Uh, Slytherin? Yeah. Who, and what's the other big brand of i can't even think of what it is now i don't know okay anyways we're, we're done and that's the show draw your own conclusions use tools to do tool stuff yes safely have a good night everyone good night